In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the seal on a mocha pot. And I have a Bialetti Kitty, and I've had this for a couple of years, or maybe even longer, and I absolutely love it. But what's happening recently is that the seal on the bottom is getting so degraded that it's starting to leak out the sides, and I'm having some problems with it. So I'm going to show you how to replace that. Now the first thing you want to do is take it apart. and then look on the bottom. And then you can see some of the issues that happens over time. Now I'm gonna zoom in here and take a look here. Now you can see that right here on the side is where your gasket is. And if you look at mine, it is uh, very rough and you can see that it's black. And the reason it's black is because I can't really clean it anymore because when I do, little chunks of the gasket come off. And so I went ahead and uh, ordered a replacement and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you need to do is you have to determine which is the right gasket. So each one is going to be slightly different and they're gonna be in ranges. Mine is a six cup. And so what we're gonna do here is measure. So this width right here is two and three quarters inches. All right. So I went on and I found this kit right here and this is actually made by Bialitti. And if you look on the back, you'll see the kitty is not on the list. But this is the correct one because they do give you the dimensions. So I'll put a product link in the description below for this particular kit. And it's uh, on the back, you'll see it's for the Mocha Express, the Fiamati, Break, Happy, Dama, Mocha Timer, and Rainbow. So in the kit, we have three replacement gaskets and a new metal filter, all right? So if we measure the gasket, you can see that it's two and three quarters on the outside width, and that's perfect. So now this gasket here, you need something sharp to put in there. I'm just gonna use this uh, pick. This is for uh, nuts. And you just reach in there, and mine is completely coming apart, and I knew it would. That's why I did not remove mine prior to ordering it because I knew that if I got it, you know, it was just going to fall apart. So I, mine's going to come out in chunks, but yours, if it's in any kind of good shape, will come out as a unit. But mine is the original from a long time ago and it's long overdue uh, to have the filter replaced. Just get in there, you know, if you're, it's in bad shape like mine, just get in there and just dig it out. Now we can just pop out the filter, and this is a good time to clean this. Now I have already run uh, vinegar through mine, but over time this has gotten to be a, a serious accumulation, and this is a good time to give it a thorough scrub. So over time, this buildup will start to cause harsh flavors. And I knew mine was gonna be bad, uh, but I'm just gonna clean this up. Now I also wanna get in there and get off all of that old uh, gasket. You can still see some there on the corner. I'm gonna get in there with one of these to kind of get the last of the gasket out. Also makes a pretty good scrubber for... Okay, now to reinstall, there are two, there's an elevated side here and then a depressed side. And so what we wanna do is we wanna put, so the elevated side comes up like that. And then we're gonna take our new gasket and slide that around in there, in that slot, and then just press it in, okay? And that's all there is to it. And now that's ready to go.
Enjoy. 